Hi everyone. Today we are going to learn about agile training and uh, in agile what are the different concepts and uh, terminologies. So first is in agile we have about many concepts but the two important concepts are kanban and scrum. So in kanban method you won't have uh, any kind of uh, meetings or any kind of responsibilities okay so but you will have a kanban board what work needs to be done but you won't have like who needs to do it and all that so this is like not a very um, frequent method that we use in agile the most popular method we use in agile is scrum scrum if you search in any job description you will definitely see the word scrum okay you should know scrum what is scrum what is uh, what are the different uh, roles and responsibilities in scrum all that they will be asking so let's say that for example your project is having scrum okay so they are going to give a description that we want somebody who knows scrum so in that case what are the terminologies you need to know first is in scrum what are the meetings they'll have okay in scrum the the very important meeting they'll have is daily scrum daily stand up meetings so that will be like every day morning uh, for half an hour they'll be having status meetings so in that status meeting you will see here right these people will definitely be there scrum master product owner business analyst developer and tester and it could be any kind of a it project if if the project is following scrum methodology and definitely they will have every day scrum meeting early in the morning and then you will see these people in that meeting scrum master product owner business analyst developer and tester so every day there will be a meeting okay that's for sure and roles and responsibilities we will define okay there will be one scrum master one product owner uh, the business analyst developer and testing these people can be like many people but usually every team has one scrum master one product owner and business analyst can be like two to three people developers can be more and testers also can be more people so this is called one scrum team okay so when we say scrum team it consists of one scrum master one product owner it could be one or many business analyst one or many developers and one or many testers okay that is scrum team whereas in kanban you don't have that kind of roles and all that so so kanban is totally different most of the it uh, companies follow scrum only so uh, meetings every day status meetings it is called as daily stand up meetings or status meetings or daily scrum meetings okay so in that meeting what will happen let me tell you what will happen okay so every day there will be a daily stand up meeting in the daily stand up meeting they will ask it will be in the same place so if it is you are working from home it will be through uh, virtual calls okay so this daily stand up meeting scrum master he will be responsible for organizing that meeting and it will be in the same time and mostly it is 15 to 30 minutes depending upon the like how big your team is it can extend so what you will do you will tell the scrum master what did you do today okay so what uh, what did you do yesterday what will you do today and if there are any kind of road blocks for your work so that if you if anything is pending any work is pending anything is not completed you have to inform the scrum master so it's basically every day what work you're doing if you're a developer right you will develop some product right and if you're a tester you will test some product if you're a business analyst you will gather the requirements so these will be every day work right so all this work status you will be telling to the scrum master okay so that is daily stand up meeting this is if the pro if the project is following scrum methodology then definitely this is like a daily ceremony okay so the next is the next important is uh, what terminologies you need to know is what is sprint planning so these four terminologies are very important sprint planning daily scrum meeting sprint review and sprint retro so first of all 
let's understand what is print okay sprint means okay the uh, sprint cycle okay so sprint means a product should be you you should be able to develop a product test the product and the product should go to production environment within a certain amount of time a defined timeline must be there it could be 2 weeks 3 weeks or 4 weeks depending upon how your uh, team is working right the sprint cycle will change okay some team will have 2 weeks sprint cycle some team will have 3 weeks sprint cycle some team will have 4 weeks sprint it depends upon company to company to company if a microsoft is having a different in microsoft itself different team will have different sprint cycle so facebook uh, also may have like different teams and every team have a, its own sprint cycle so any software company or any company who follows scrum methodology they'll have a sprint cycle it could be 2 weeks 3 weeks or 4 weeks so it's usually very short term okay within that time period the requirement the requirements needs to be developed it needs to be tested so it's written here see the test it should be the the product should be developed and tested within that particular time that is called sprint so let's say so if we if let's say that um a, a sprint is like 2 weeks okay so let's say here every sprint is 2 weeks okay if your team has sprint 2 weeks okay so from one, let's say like from monday from monday till the second week's monday it is one sprint and again from next monday the other monday after 2 weeks the second sprint cycle starts and then after that 2 weeks the third sprint cycle starts okay so this is what is sprint so in the interview if they ask what is sprint okay you need to say sprint is like it could be 2 weeks 3 weeks or 4 weeks it is a timeline or a short term timeline where a product needs to be developed tested and then it needs to go into production environment okay that is sprint so what happens during sprint planning so that very first uh, before this before you start a sprint right so let's say your sprint is starting on a particular date before that that particular date there will be a meeting called sprint planning okay i'll show you a document how that sprint planning will happen so this is jira software this software is used to document all your requirements okay so for example you have many requirements here like you need to create a user login page or registration page many kind of requirements are there okay all the requirements are documented so your business analyst gather all the requirements and she documents it here okay and now what will happen in sprint planning this meeting is you will go through each requirement here so you'll open and then go through each requirement here and make sure these requirements like what is their priority whether this requirement needs to be done in next sprint or the upcoming like a different sprint okay so if your um sprint cycle is like uh four weeks so four weeks means it's like one month right so you need to know whether this requirement did, uh, needs to be done this month or you can do it next month or the second requirement needs to be done in this month or it needs to be done in next month how will you like prioritize it depends upon the business needs okay business will, the business owners will tell you when that product have to go live whether it has it happens to be like next month or it needs to be after two months after three months so depending upon that the sprint planning is especially to find out you may have multiple number of projects your team may get like 10 projects okay but you have only limited number of developers and testers and business analyst so you can't be doing all the 10 projects in the same time period so what will you do you have to like prioritize so prioritize in the sense we have only like every month is one sprint okay let's take like that so each month only like certain number of uh, work can be done so in that sprint planning we are going to plan how much work can be done and based upon the business priority okay whether uh, the business owners wants the product next month 
then we will take those requirements and we'll start developing those requirements that the very first month it goes on like that okay so it's very important to understand uh, scrum uh, life cycle so first is sprint planning after sprint planning once you are aware of what are you are going to develop for the next sprint okay then uh, the work is being divided to um the developers and testers and also business analysts and then after the sprint starts okay every day you will be having a, a scrum meeting or status meeting so in that uh, weekly sprint i mean that in that weekly um like for example it is like a month sprint or two week sprint every day you need to other you need to update your status to your scrum master what work you are doing is anything pending are you having any road blocks so that one you need to do in this meeting okay once you have finished your product okay so once you have finished your product and it's ready to go for release release means it's going to production okay so it's going to production then you will be having something called again you will have the sprint planning meeting so it's like this is like a cycle sprint planning then you the sprint starts and then again uh, the sprint will end once it ends you will be having one once it is going to end right you will have the sprint review a meeting this is like you will be like discussing you will call all the stakeholders okay sprint review is nothing but you will be getting feedback sprint review is you will get the feedback from all the business owners the stakeholders and you will be asking like how the product uh, i mean what's the feedback of their particular sprint whether all the work was completed is anything pending so that is sprint review and then the last one is sprint retrospective that that is the last meeting so in the last meeting you need to like discuss with your team what went well what what could be improved in that particular sprint how it needs to be improved and uh, if there is uh, something like you have to make sure it doesn't like you have something failed and some kind of defect happened and you don't want to continue for the next sprint every everybody has to discuss every member in the team needs to be aware of those defects how we need to fix it okay so this is like this is the last meeting so before the sprint starts we'll be having sprint planning once the sprint starts then every day you'll have scrum scrum daily meeting at the end of this sprint you will be having sprint review and sprint retrospective sprint review is you will discuss with the business owners sprint retrospective is internally within your team what's the difference sprint review means you are discussing with the business owners the stakeholders everybody you are discussing what went well and all that but sprint retrospective means internal discussion with your team your developers your testers your business analyst internal the development team we you need to discuss what went well what could be improved how it can be improved okay so these terminologies are very 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 important so uh, uh, again i will tell you what's the difference so mainly the roles and responsibilities you will definitely have a scrum master you will definitely have a product owner and a development team development team in the sense business analyst developer and tester and then you will have every day uh meeting stand up meetings you will have sprint planning meetings sprint review meetings and sprint retrospective meetings so let's go one by one again first is sprint planning sprint planning means as i told here the software the jira is a software here what will happen you will document all the, the business analyst will document all the requirements here okay the, that that will go to the backlog if you see the backlog it will tell you okay what is the sprint whether it's february sprint march sprint if it's like going to be weekly sprint or monthly sprint okay so it will show, it will tell you how many sprints are there what are the active sprints if you see here it's going to ask you what are the active sprints okay so the, since i have not created anything so it it says there are no active sprints but we i will show you how to create active sprint here okay i'll do a separate video on jira training so this particular software how to handle this software so that it's easy for you so the requirements are being 
created in here okay in the backlog okay that is called sprint backlog so the requirements are created here and once the sprint uh, in the during the sprint planning meeting we need to discuss okay which requirement you are going to pick up for the next sprint that uh, how will you decide we will decide based upon the business owners priority priority in the sense like uh, which business owner like there's an emergency there's an urgency right this product has to go first and then this product can go and then this product can go it depends upon the priority okay so uh, depends upon the priority you the team has to decide which one needs to for which work we need to do for the next sprint okay so this software is very very important uh, definitely in the interview they'll be asking you whether you have created requirements in jira you don't know how, what is jira and how to handle backlog in jira what how to um, like uh, create documents in uh, jira okay so oh, very very important tool okay this and confluence both are very very important tools so once the once sprint planning is done all the requirements are being finalized then uh, the sprint plan sprint will happen sprint can be two weeks three weeks or four week four weeks the sprint will happen at the end of the sprint sprint review will happen so this is feedback from everybody from stakeholders business owners and um, and then last meeting is sprint retrospective this is internally the development team we will have the um, meetings internally so very important so i think basically you understand you understood about what is scrum what are the terminologies in scrum okay sprint daily scrum sprint review sprint retrospective scrum master product owner sprint backlog product backlog so i'll tell you the difference between product backlog and sprint backlog uh, in a separate video for now you need to know sprint backlog sprint backlog is something you create in jira all the requirements it goes to a backlog okay that is sprint backlog i hope this video is helpful thank you for watching